here at Sack Co. and ABC 10 are asking you to join us in support of Children's Hospitals Week. Hospitals require tremendous resources to care for kids, and they need our help to ensure that every child has a chance to get better. Every donation made today, it stays local, which is why we are asking you to put your money where the miracles are. In fact, we have Timmy Brown and his parents here to talk about their relationship with UC Davis Children's Hospital and how the hospital itself played a very key role when helping this family during an emergency situation. So a big warm welcome. This is Timmy and his parents. We have Marianne right here to my left, and we have Dad Mark right over here to our right. So welcome to this wonderful Brown family. Thank you so much for being here and sharing your story with us today. But um, first, uh, Mom and Dad, tell us, what is your relationship with UC Davis Children's Hospital? What brought you there first? What brought us there was um, Timothy got really ill. We thought it was an inner ear infection, and it happened to be a brain tumor. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Okay, so you thought it was an ear infection, mm -hmm. which is a parent. We all know that's pretty routine, right? Kids get ear infections quite often. Um, but it turned out to be a brain tumor. So tell us, at what point did you realize that there was something wrong? What what happened? Like, what, what made you go, this is more than an ear infection, I have to go to the hospital? So uh, we had taken him to the doctor, and they had... Um, seen some fluid behind his ear, okay. in his inner ear, so they Very gave him typical. some medicine. Yeah, they gave yeah. him some medicine and thought it was just an inner ear infection. That didn't clear it up. And then um, he was fine one moment, and then the next moment after I got him dressed for preschool, he was just almost non-responsive, so we rushed him to the emergency room. Oh, my goodness. And how old was he? At two and a half at the at time. Two and a half mm -hmm. years old. Okay, so then you guys get to the hospital. And then he has a diagnosis. What, what was his diagnosis? His diagnosis is medulloblastoma, which is brain cancer in the cerebellum. All right. And then what type of treatment then did uh, Timmy have to have? He had to have an emergency surgery to remove the tumor. Okay. And they were able to get 100% of it, which was amazing. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes. That's incredible. It was incredible. It was a large tumor. Um, then he had eight months of intensive chemo in which he was hospitalized for, for multiple days. Mm -hmm. um, and then he had 30 sessions of radiation after he turned three. Okay, and how long was his treatment? Because it started, you said, when he was about two and a half. Yes, yeah, so um, it started in January of 2012 and ended in October of 2012, so okay. almost a, a whole year. All right, and so now Timmy is with us today, so clearly uh, this was uh, some, you know, miracle work, right? Yes. Mom? I mean, you, you've got to feel that in your heart. Oh, that, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And Timmy, how old are you now? Eight. Eight years old, and Timmy's here sharing his story. Timmy, um, you like baseball, I hear, right? Yes. And you play on the team? Yes. That's fantastic. So what position do you play? Catcher. You're a catcher? No way. Okay, so you like to you, you don't mind that coming towards you and catching the ball. What do you love so much about baseball? It's fun and you get hit a lot. And you you get hit a lot? Mm -hmm. Or you like to hit the ball a lot? Hit the ball a lot. Yeah, that's right, right? <laughs> Batting that's also one of my favorite parts of the mm -hmm. sport too. Timmy so happy to have you here today with your parents. You are such an amazing, amazing champion, which leads me to the Children's Miracle Network Champion Program, right? Yes. So share with our viewers, what exactly is this Champion Program? So the Champion Program is um, a program in which one child that has overcome a life-threatening mm -hmm. illness um, is kind of the spokesperson for all of the sick, sick children in the area. And Timmy, you're an excellent spokesperson, by the way. You, you've got to be excited to be a champion. Are you excited? Yes. Yes. Go around sharing your smile and mm -hmm. your heart and your happiest. Um, Daddy, how, how proud are you of Timmy to be a champion? I was super proud. It was exciting when we found out, and um, he was super excited when we got the announcement. So. Mm -hmm. it did, did you jump up and down? Were you cheering? I didn't know what it is at the time. At the time, <laughs> but now you do. So do you jump up and down when you realize it? You go, yeah, I'm a champion. You're all excited? Not that much. No, yes, you are. You're excited. You may not be jumping down physically, but I know you are inside in your heart. Okay, so let's help our viewers understand, though, why is it important that they donate this week during Children's Hospitals Week? It's really important. First of all, all of the money stays locally. Mm -hmm. So it will help children like Timothy, and it will help children who have other illnesses, too, who are stuck in the hospital. Um, UC Davis has done an amazing job with the MRI goggles, obtaining the MRI goggles through those donations, Child Life, um, and a lot of other programs 
and research also to help find cures for different things. And in Timmy's story too in itself, you guys being here today in itself is an excellent example of why all of you need to yes. donate this week. Uh, so you can help save and um, protect children like Timmy so he can play baseball and grow and prosper and have a beautiful life. And we all deserve that. Every family deserves that. So again, Children's Hospitals Week is taking place right now until Sunday, March 11th. So it's right now. So donate. All you have to do is call 1-877-719-KIDS or you can visit abc10.com slash donate now. And that is what you're going to do. You're going to donate now. Timmy, can you smile and give them a nice little wave? There you go. There's your best little champion smile right there. Do it again, buddy. One more time. Let's get a little <laughs> close-up of that sweet little face. There you go. I cannot wait to see you out on the ball field. You got some games coming up? Yeah. Yeah?